Hi, how you doing? And thank you. Congratulations on Herschel. It's thank you. Of our environment, Black in America. John how you doing? How are you feeling today? I'm, I'm well, thank uh, you. You play some amazing characters, very powerful. Mm. Can you just walk me through very quickly, like, how do you prepare? You know, mm. your characters have so many layers. Like, what's your day in life in terms of you getting into the depth of who they are? You know, I, I think about that a lot from the standpoint of I have so much anxiety that I have to manage once I say yes, because I only say yes to something that makes me uncomfortable, you know? So it's gotta be something that I, th when, I when I get a script and, and the little ego in me, you know, pops his collar and says, oh, I could do that. That's the job I say no to. So I usually say yes to the jobs that, that scare me to some degree. And I do all my preparation from, from working with a, a speech coach who I've had the honor to work with in the last two jobs, Denise Woods, or losing some weight, gaining a little bit, doing the piano training or what, ha what have you. And, but at the end of the day, I know when I get in my trailer and I step on set, no matter how, how well I have my lines memorized, that I just feel so nervous and nude at that point. And all that work sort of goes out the window. And for me, the only thing that really calms me is prayer and meditation. And so that's my technique. You just picked an author, and is there any oh, wow. book from your favorite author, character that you would like to portray? Oh, my favorite author, wow. Well, uh, my favorite book is Khalil Gibran, The, the Prophet. Um, and in terms of like books, I, I haven't found, I haven't found that, there's a couple of books that I wanna do that I don't wanna, I don't wanna speak on, <laughs> cause I've done that before, then there's an announcement a week later, <laughs> somebody else doing it, but, uh, but my favorite book is Khalil Gibran's The Prophet. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How you doing? Great, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Great, um, I'm wondering how it feels to win knowing that the family of Dr. Shirley has objected to the film. Hmm. Um, well, I will say this, that my job is always the same. And I have to look at what I'm responsible for doing. And all the prayers and energy and time and work, like I'm not one who is, is gonna necessarily throw all that away um, f over things that I have no control over and have nothing to do with. So. I respect the family, I respect Dr. Shirley and his family, and I wish them well. Um, and I, I have a job to do, and I have to continue to do my job as I move on to my next project and, and treat everyone that I work with uh, with respect. And um, in this case, I didn't know that they were around, and I've, I've made contact, and I've spoken to the studio and everyone, and, and I have to move on uh, at this point. But I do wish them well. And, and at the end of the day, you wish everybody was happy in any situation. You don't want anybody to be upset about anything or be offended in any capacity, you know? And so, uh, so I, I, I wish them well and, 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 and send my love, um, and I hope they receive it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Congratulations on uh, yet another win in your career. Thank um, you. How would you describe the last two years in terms of having amazing roles, uh, mm. winning an Oscar, winning tonight, mm. uh, it, it, it has been remarkable um, and in, in a real in a real positive challenge in terms of just trying to balance other things in my life I seeing my mom and my grandmother and you know I, every time I'd see my daughter I feel like she grew an inch or two and they're in the house with me <laughs> you know but you're just gone all day so the challenging thing in it is that with the success um, and the opportunity, uh, what comes with that is that there's a tax on one's family life, you know? Um, but in my case, I'm, I'm just, I'm very fortunate to have loved ones and people who are, are very supportive of, of what I'm doing. And it, and it gives me the energy to go out there and try to, try to do a better job the next time out. Mr. Ali. Yes. Thank you, brother, thank you. Going from supporting actor to lead. Yes. Do you feel that you know you're at this point for a supporting yeah. role? You're starting to set the date next week essentially. 
Yeah. Do you feel the transition happening right now? Please? Well, I, I feel there was a time not too long ago when I would never get an offer to lead a project. And I still get some supporting offers to this day, you know? Um, <clears throat> so I think for me, it's just really about sitting back and waiting for the best opportunity, whether that be a supporting role or, or a lead role, but uh, wanting to play characters that have dimensionality and depth and are complex and that are challenging uh, for me. And so um, I, I think that the, the shift is that for me, the clear shift is having an idea and presenting that to an H HBO or a studio and them saying, yes, we would like to support that or get behind that. And I've worked in this business a long time and within the last couple of years, I've, I've made some, some wonderful allies and there are people who have been supportive of, of my ideas and trying to get those off the ground. And, and so I think that will add to the shift in terms of, of how present I get to be in a story and even what stories I get to tell uh, to some degree moving forward as I, I get to dip in and out of producing uh, in the future, God willing. Thank you. Oh, Herschel, yes. Kelly Carter, I can't see your light. Hi, Hi With Kelly. With ESPN's the undefeated, and because of that, I feel like I'm gonna ask you a question no one else in the room is gonna ask Okay, you. let's I do know it. You in college, you played, uh, you played basketball. You're a yes. former athlete. Um, what does that kind of, uh, what is that life kind of organized for? And I know how, hmm. you, how you bucket it in the circumstances you bucket under. Hmm. How does that translate, or how has that helped you kind of navigate the Hollywood space, especially hmm. as you're kind of collecting awards and, and having this really nice rise in this industry? Um, thank you. Um, I, I think I, I grew up <clears throat> playing team sports. My first sport, I was uh, a BMX racer, which is not a team sport, but after that, I was basically always playing team sports. So I've, I've never really understood accomplishing anything without the help of a lot of other people. And um, so in this case, from Vigo Mortensen to Pete Fairley, but also Chris Bowers, who, who doubled for me and was the composer. And I'm so upset that I forgot to, I, it was a, so much was happening up on stage, just in my mind, I forgot to thank Chris Bowers, but but it's a team sport. We can't do it without the other person. And so it's your job to bring, for me, at least in my time playing, it wasn't just about how hard you, how hard you worked on the court or how much you scored, but it was also about your attitude and the energy that you brought to the team. And so I always try to be very conscious of my energy and what I bring into the room if I'm either of those who are, are helping to uplift the situation or, or or doing something to take away from what um, something can eventually turn into, and I, I don't ever want to be the latter. Okay, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.